did you think when you were writing the song Driver's License, like what was going through your mind at the time based on the reaction that you're now getting from the entire world? Yeah, um, I guess I like try not to write songs with other people's opinions in mind. It just like messes with me yeah. and I like write badly. But I always loved this song so much. And uh, after I like finished writing it and uh, got it produced, I would like drive around in my car and like listen to it sometimes when I was feeling sad because I like, it just so perfectly captured how I was feeling at this like moment in my life. And so it always like really resonated with me a lot. And um, so I, I guess at the end of the day, that's like all I could have done, you know, I just made a song. Yeah. That I, I just like, you know, you put it out into the universe and at that point it's not yours anymore. It's like everyone else's and it's, yeah. So <laughs> are you, are you the type of person, Olivia, that pays attention or is constantly needing to know information on things like how many views it got on YouTube or how many streams it's getting across various platforms or how many times a day, like a radio station is playing your song? Right. I mean, I don't, it's like so exciting for me to see that. And, but like, on the other hand, like I truly cannot wrap my head around it. Like I look at the numbers yeah. and I'm like, that's too big of a number. That doesn't make any sense. Like that's like, it like doesn't compute in my mind sometimes, but it's been just so exciting. And I, I don't know. I, I think the coolest thing is to see it like really affecting people in the real world. Like it's, it's one thing to like see the numbers in the charts, but like to have my friends text me and be like, I'm getting a burrito right now and they're playing it in Chipotle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's so cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's just been, it's been so surreal. I, I had, I had no expectations for this song, but like even my highest tech expectations could not have, you know, been this. So. Um, when you posted on Instagram, your excitement for the song being, you know, with the likes of people like Taylor Swift and The Weeknd and where it, it was landing on Billboard and then having Taylor Swift reach out and make a comment on your IG. Have you had any other uh, artists, whether it's a, a group or an individual singer, reach out to you since then or since Driver's License has blown up saying, hey, we should probably work together or it'd be great to work on a track uh, together? So many crazy things. Um, Billie Eilish DM'd me the other day and said that she loved it and that she was really happy for me. So that was insane because she's just such an icon and I, I look up to her in so many ways. Um, Lord, Lord doesn't have Instagram, but Lord's sister DM'd me and said that Lord likes the song. So I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's a little, little back end there, but um, I'm obsessed with Lord and so inspired by her also. And especially in this song I was like really inspired by her. So um, that was surreal. Um, Demi Lovato jam me yesterday. Like it's just crazy. Wow. Who I've looked up for, uh, looked up to for so long. Kind of, like it's crazy to think that they're like my peers now. Like that. Yeah, of crazy. course. You're that. on that level now, right? Your your birthday's coming up in a few weeks. Last year at this time, completely different world. We were mm -hmm. all able to get together and hang out and celebrate and hug each other. Yeah. Um, and and now this is going to be your first like COVID birthday. Um, what do you have? What do you have planned? So it's my 18th, so it's a big one. So I wanted yeah. to be fun, but like, I don't know what I can do. I was always gonna say, like I always said that I was just gonna go to the store and buy a lottery ticket. But I think the plan now is to get, I was gonna get like a tattoo or a piercing and I was like, I don't wanna get a tattoo. So I'm just gonna get a second ear piercing, but I can do it now. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do on the 18th. <laughs> yeah, what, what's the what's the tattoo plan for when you eventually get your tattoo? Oh my god, I don't like I don't know if I am gonna get one. I'm like debating. Um, I wanted to get one with my best friend, who is like a, we're both like huge Swifties, and Taylor yeah. Swift has um, like 13 on her hands. Like when she did like the Fearless tour, she like had like 13 on her hand, and so we wanted to get like little baby 13 somewhere on our hand. Like oh, that's for, sick. Like, yeah. For, this is like a Taylor Swift tattoo. Like, I don't know if that makes me too much of a crazy fan. Like, I don't know if I can like go that far, but um, yeah. So that, that was my one idea, but I don't think that it'll happen anytime soon. <laughs> never say never, girl. I know. <laughs> uh, listen, congratulations on everything. I know your life is absolutely crazy right now. Bonkers nuts, but you deserve everything that's coming to you. And uh, we definitely appreciate you taking the time to, to join us today. I know, again, your day's really busy and, uh, and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.